Crypto Cody here, and in today's video, I'm going to cover what is Bitcoin, otherwise known as BTC. Now, Bitcoin is a digital asset that can be bought, sold, or transferred securely between parties over the internet. Now, it's a great store of value, similar to gold or silver or other investable assets, and it's also a form of digital currency that can be used to buy products and services or send money over the internet to anybody that you owe money to. Now, unlike fiat money, such as dollars or yen or euros, Bitcoin isn't physical. It's more like when you spend money on your Visa or through PayPal. When you spend your Bitcoin, a record of your Bitcoin account gets modified on the blockchain depending on whether you spent your Bitcoins or you accepted some Bitcoins. And unlike fiat money, there are no banks or clearinghouses or middlemen involved in the transaction. Also, nobody owns or controls the technology behind Bitcoin. It's an open source, peer-to-peer -peer network built and maintained by the Bitcoin community. That's part of what makes it so cool. Nobody can simply rush off and print more Bitcoin causing inflation or hyperinflation. Its release is controlled and only 21 million Bitcoins will ever be produced. But before we start getting too technical, let's look at how Bitcoin works. First off, understand that one Bitcoin is broken down into 100 million bits otherwise known as a Satoshi. It's represented as 0 .00000001 BTC. You can own a full Bitcoin or a piece of a Bitcoin. Sending or receiving Bitcoin is as easy as sending an email. But let me ask you a question. Can you simply attach some money into an email and send it to somebody else? Of course not. Not without using a third party like a bank or a company like PayPal. Now, the reason you can't do it yourself is because somebody has to verify the transaction, record it, and ensure that it is secure. Plus, just like when you email somebody a picture, you actually create two copies of that picture. One's on your computer, and one is now on their computer once they download it from the internet. This is known as the double spend problem. Now, without a third party to verify the transaction and update your ledger, it would be impossible to avoid counterfeit money or people trying to scam the system. So how are we able to send Bitcoins back and forth without having a bank or another company involved? The answer is in a powerful yet simple technology called the blockchain. Now the blockchain is a decentralized ledger technology that keeps a record of every Bitcoin transaction ever created and is run by the Bitcoin network. Now in another video, I broke down what is blockchain in great detail, but for now just know that Bitcoin is comprised of four awesome components. The first component is software. In its simplest form, Bitcoin is a software. The software is created and maintained by the Bitcoin network, and you have to be plugged into the software to participate in Bitcoin. Now, the second component is cryptography. Bitcoin uses very secure cryptography to regulate the transfer of Bitcoin between parties as well as the creation of new Bitcoin. Hardware is the third component of Bitcoin. Now, hardware is provided to the Bitcoin network by the miners. Miners from all around the world supply thousands of specialized computers that are all connected to the Bitcoin network and running the Bitcoin client software. And the fourth component of Bitcoin is probably the piece that ties it all together is gaming theory. Now, at its core, Bitcoin is nothing more than a game played by the miners located all around the world. So it kind of works like this. The Bitcoin software every 10 minutes offers the network a cryptographic challenge. The challenge is to find the nouns in order to solve the hash and validate the blocks. So after the challenge is issued, the miners running their hardware race to solve the nouns and win the game. Eventually, one miner's computer guesses the correct nouns and solves the challenge. Then the rest of the miners verify the validity, which is called proof of work, and the new block is officially mined and added to the Bitcoin blockchain, and a copy is distributed to the network. As a reward, the winning miner gets some Bitcoin. Cha-ching!